The Institute is the voice of the industry. And by <coughs> representing the views of our members on common challenges with various government departments, state-owned enterprises, local authorities, educational institutions, sister associations, and standards bodies, we've made a positive difference. An example of this has been the uh, introduction of the designation of valves in South Africa, with the body being mandatory for local manufacture. Our mission is to improve the competitiveness of the local industry, achieving sustainable growth and job creation by advancing the services and technologies that are used in the manufacture of metal castings through skills development, training, education, and <coughs> information dissemination and research. Supported by the National Foundry Technology Network and the Gauteng Department of Economic Development, the Gauteng Foundry Training Center was established in the Ekeleni East College at Kwatema near Springs. And last year, more than 300 foundry workers attended courses presented by the Institute at various venues around the country. The new technologies are essentially being driven by an increased demand for complex shapes, thin sections, but lighter and stronger casting designs, which are more energy efficient, both in the manufacture and in the service, and are recyclable, thereby reducing the impact on the environment. This promotes the use of lightweight metals and alloys. And in the automotive industry, the use of aluminium has almost doubled in the past 15 years. Today's research is focused on computational simulation at an atomic level to rapidly develop new lightweight materials with higher strengths and toughness. The development of composite materials, both metallic and non-metallic, has also been advanced for the same reasons. Cost reduction and the <coughs> lead time to the introduction of new products to the market are also strong drivers of the new technologies, such as 3D printing. So, in summary, it's complicated design and, and shapes, the geometries of castings, lightweight uh, development or lightweight materials development, and energy efficiency. By combining the 7th BRICS Foundry Forum and the World Foundry Organization Technical Forum, <coughs> we are host, co-hosting an event which will probably be the most important uh, held in South Africa. With a program attracting eminent local and international speakers, an exhibition displaying many of the latest developments in uh, the foundry technology, and a number of workshops where interaction would be possible, we are expecting a large contingent of foundry delegates and visitors to the MCC. There will be many opportunities for <coughs> learning and networking. And if the local foundry management and the next generation of engineers and foundrymen take that opportunity to interact with each other and with the others from around the globe, we can expect there will be a new platform of awareness and knowledge that can be taken back and injected into our own foundry. It's all about knowledge sharing and building relationships and forging new partnerships to grow the industry. One of the purpose of the uh, Institute of the of Foundrymen uh, is to share information, the trends, what's happening in the world. So we also have technical evenings where like, we keep our local foundries with the technology which is happening maybe in the rest of the world. We're also part of the uh, BRICS Founder Association. So within the BRICS uh, Founder Association, we share what's happening, what's the challenges happening in the BRICS uh, countries and how can we resolve them. So with the technical evenings or technical uh, meetings, we'll share if there's a new development, it uh, will present to our, our foundry industry and then they'll get to know how other uh, foundry uh, industry or in the world are they keeping up and then just also to move with technology. The new technology, you'll need it also to increase your productivity and also uh, 
to improve your, the quality of your casting. If you use different uh, technology, you can also improve the quality of your casting. That will also lead into uh, resource uh, saving in, in terms of resources, energy, also you can also improve that. In terms of, of the, what we want to achieve with the MCC conference, uh, the MCC conference was strategically uh, placed in, in Ekurulene, where this also in the Gauteng province where most of the founders, 60% 60, 60 of the founders are in Gauteng. So it's going to be easier for them to attend the conference where they can share uh, information, uh, they can also get information from international speakers or what other founders are doing. Because you think you are doing the best, but while you are just in the corner, while you can attend exhibition, you can see what other te new technology, you can also new learn about new technologies and the new trends, what's happening in the founder industry.